Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me in this video. Well, these are two more vehicles in my Corgi toy collection. And this is actually a newer Corgi toys than my other cars in the collection. Because this is copyright 1994. Now, in 1989, Mattel actually bought Corgi toys and continued producing the Corgi line of cars. Well, they actually uh, incorporated some of the Corgi Juniors into the Hot Wheel line. And I'm not quite sure how many cars they did, but they did do a bunch. <laughs> and uh, some uh, ended up as their final run series. And some, I'm not sure how many continued on, but those are... Uh, some cool vehicles to try and search out and find. So this is actually copyright 1994 and it's race image in association with Corgi Toys. Well, you got a limited edition with numbered certificate. Uh, in the box, uh, there's the mirrors that you attach the cab. I don't know if they just snap on or if you got to glue them on. But anyways, uh, the mirrors are included, so that's nice. And in the top portion of the package, where the dragster sits, is this card that says Daryl Gwynn Racing. Mike Dunn is the driver. Well, it's actually the certificate. So you see what number I have of 10,000. So that's kind of cool. And uh, I'll show you the box here. There's the back of the packet, so there's that information there. And then you see it's a copyright 1994, so Mattel UK Limited. And more information there, but it was made in China, adult collectibles. And here's the end of the package here. 64 scale, and that's the price I paid for it way back when. So we'll put that back over here. And here we have the dragster, which is very cool. It's got a metal body, metal chassis. The wing is metal. The struts are metal. You know, it's a Corgi toy, so it's not highly detailed, but it's got a cool enough engine in it. Chrome wheels, rubber tires on the back. It's got plastic wheels and tires up front, but that's okay. Here's the chassis for you. I usually have more lights on when I'm doing this, and the cloud just went overhead, but I think it's looking pretty good still. So very nice graphics on it. I'll move that aside so we can look at the truck. So again, very nice graphics. And I'll show you the information for the driver, the manager, the crew. Take the trailer off here and there's a ball in the trailer, nothing much to see. Metal portion for the for the hitch there and a little metal portion to hold the wheels and tires. That comes down and not much to see inside, but there you go. So again, very nice graphics. And here we have the cab. So this is nicely done, but it's a typical 164 scale. You know, a lot of manufacturers made similar trucks with similar detail. So nice chrome wheels, rubber tires, except for the fairing here, the body's metal. And 
back portion of the chassis is metal. And I'll show you the chassis. White portion is all plastic, but you see here a Mattel company. So that's kind of cool. So nice enough details, you know. You got the good looking steering wheel, you know. Simple interior, but in keeping with the Corgi style of manufacturer, it did a very nice job. So there you have it. Put that back on. Now you pull the trailer back to snap it into place. So what do you guys think of this? Leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed so far, I'd really appreciate it. But if you just want to watch, that's fine too. So thanks again for joining me in this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.